One person, armed with compassion, empathy, and a willingness to act, could transform the world around them. Welcome to Opportuno, Episode 45, Storytime, Melodies of Compassion, The Journey of Flutist Koji. The following is one of the stories in our Storytime series of stories, entitled, Melodies of Compassion, The Journey of Flutist Koji. A big thank you goes out to Eric the Flute Maker for sharing his bamboo flute music used in this podcast episode. You can learn more about Eric the Flute Maker's flute making and flute music at his website, ericthefluteMaker.com. Now, on to the story, Melodies of Compassion, The Journey of Flutist Koji. Deep within the tranquil countryside, nestled between rolling hills and a winding river, lived a skilled flutist named Koji. Renowned for his enchanting melodies that emanated from his beloved bamboo flute, Koji had always felt a desire to explore the world beyond his humble village. One bright sunny morning, he made up his mind. He packed his meager belongings into a worn backpack, slung it over his shoulder, and set off on a journey that would forever change his life. Koji walked with a determined stride, never once looking back. He was filled with anticipation as he ventured into the unknown, guided only by his unwavering passion for music and a desire to spread joy through his enchanting melodies. With each step, he left behind the familiar sights and sounds of his village, embracing the countless possibilities that lay ahead. Koji quickly found that he was not the only one that dared to venture out into the unknown. Over time, he met and made many a travelling friend, and never felt lonely. One night, Koji found himself at a secluded camp deep in the forest, that was a refuge for travellers, needing a safe place to stay. Before going to sleep, under the stars, he shared a story, and music, he played on his bamboo flute, with his travelling companions. Listen closely, my friends, for I have a tale to share, a story that has shaped my very being. It is a story that carries with it wisdom and inspiration, one that has guided me on my journey. Gather around and let me share this tale with you. Once upon a time, during my early travels, I came across a small village nestled in the mountains. The villagers were known for their hard work and resilience, but they often seemed weary and burdened by their daily struggles. One day, I encountered a young boy named Hiro. His eyes sparkled with curiosity, and he asked me, Oi, Flutus Koji, how can we find joy amidst hardship? Koji smiled and began to tell him a story. Long ago, there was a bird with vibrant feathers who lived in a dark forest. The bird had the gift of a beautiful song, but its melodies were unheard by others. Determined to share its music, the bird flew high into the sky where the sun's rays touched its feathers. As the bird soared, its colors began to shimmer and illuminate the forest, bringing light 
and joy to all who beheld it. Koji looked into Hiro's eyes and said, "My friend, we may face challenges, but it is in our power to rise above them. Just like the bird, we can find strength and beauty within ourselves. Embrace your unique talents, your gifts." And share them with the world, for they have the power to illuminate even the darkest of days. As Koji traveled, he encountered strangers from diverse walks of life. Some were curious villagers who had heard of his musical talent and were eager to experience it firsthand. Others were weary travelers seeking solace and respite from their arduous journeys. In the face of each encounter, Koji's innate kindness and genuine compassion shone through. With his bamboo flute in hand, Koji would often stop by bustling marketplaces, lively town squares, and tranquil parks. People would gather around, their countenance lifted by the wondrous melodies that flowed from his instrument. Children danced, their laughter harmonizing with the music, while the elderly closed their eyes, transported to distant memories. Koji's melodies spoke a soothing language beyond what words were capable of relaying. As Koji did when there were those to listen, before leaving on his way, continuing his journey, he would share a story and music he played on his bamboo flute. Koji said. As the sun begins to set, let me take you on a musical journey. Music has had transformative power for me, and for many, I've encountered along my path. Lean in, dear friends, as I share with you a story and play my flute. In my travels. I once encountered an old woman named May. Her face carried the weight of sorrow, and she asked me, "Flute is Koji. How can music heal a broken heart?" I gently took her hand and began to share a tale. There was once a solitary flower that grew in the barren desert. It had no companions, and its petals drooped with sadness. But one day, a gentle breeze carried the melodies of a flute, soothing the flower's weary spirit. As the music embraced the flower, its petals unfurled, revealing a vibrant blossom. That radiated hope and joy. I smiled at May and said, "Music has the power to touch the depths of our souls. It can mend the broken pieces within us and bring forth the beauty that lies dormant." As he traveled further, Koji found that the kindness he showed to strangers was reciprocated in unexpected ways. In a small village plagued by drought, he encountered a young girl named Mai. Her eyes filled with sorrow. Her family's crops had withered, and hope seemed all but lost. Koji played a soothing tune, capturing the essence of raindrops falling on parched land. Inspired by the music. The villagers rallied together, offering their assistance and sharing resources to help Mai's family recover. In another encounter, Koji stumbled upon a weary traveler named Hiroshi. The traveler had lost his way and was disheartened by the challenges he faced. Koji's empathetic nature kicked in, and he played a tune that evoked resilience and determination. 
Hiroshi's spirit was rekindled, and with newfound courage, he continued his own journey, vowing to spread the kindness he had received from the wandering flutist. As Koji did when there were those to listen, before leaving on his way, continuing his journey, he would share a story and music he played on his bamboo flute. Koji said, In a world that often seems filled with darkness, let me share a story of kindness, compassion, and the profound impact it can have. Through this tale, you will come to understand the immeasurable value of a single act of goodness. Join me now as we embark on this journey together. In a bustling marketplace, I met a merchant named Akira. His eyes were tired, and he asked me, Flutus Koji, can a single act of kindness truly make a difference? With a warm smile, I shared a story with Akira. Once a small pebble was thrown into a still pond, the impact seemed insignificant, but ripples spread across the water, reaching the farthest shore. The pebble's act of disruption transformed into a symphony of interconnectedness, touching every corner of the pond. I placed my hand on Akita's shoulder and said, My friend, never underestimate the power of a single act of kindness. It may seem small, but its impact can create waves of goodness that touch the lives of many. Embrace each opportunity to make a difference for the better. For you hold within you the potential to change the world. Word of Koji's benevolent journey spread far and wide, inspiring countless individuals to believe in the power of their own actions. His melodies resonated not only with those who directly experienced them, but also in the stories they shared with others along the way. The ripples of good that Koji left in his wake grew exponentially as his travels continued. In each new town or village he visited, Koji encountered individuals who had been touched by the kindness he had shown to others. They, in turn, were inspired to extend their own acts of compassion, creating a chain reaction of goodwill. The smallest gestures of kindness, like offering a helping hand or a listening ear, had the power to transform lives and communities. As Koji did when there were those to listen, before leaving on his way, continuing his journey, he would share a story and music he played on his bamboo flute. Koji said, Dear friends, as we venture into the unknown territories of life, it is only fitting that I share with you a story. A story that embraces the beauty of uncertainty and the courage it takes to step into the unfamiliar. Listen closely, for within this tale lies the wisdom to navigate the uncharted paths that await us. In a village surrounded by lush forests, Koji met a young girl named Sakura. She was filled with apprehension and asked me, Flutus Koji, how can we find courage to face the unknown? 
Koji sat beside Sakura and began to tell this story. There was once a small seed nestled within the earth. It longed to explore the world beyond. But fear held it rooted in the safety of the soil. One day, a gentle breeze whispered encouragement, inspiring the seed to sprout and grow. As it reached for the sky, the seed discovered a whole new world filled with wonders and possibilities. Looking into Sakura's eyes, Koji said, My dear Sakura, the unknown can be daunting, but within it lies the potential for growth and discovery. In the midst of his travels, Koji discovered that kindness was not bound by borders or limitations. It transcended language barriers and cultural differences, weaving a tapestry of unity and compassion. He became an ambassador of goodwill, reminding people of the innate goodness within each of them. Koji's melodies brought together people from all walks of life. Strangers became friends, and enemies found common ground in the harmonious notes he played. The world began to see the beauty in embracing the unique tapestry of humanity and cherishing the shared bonds that bound them all. As Koji did when there were those to listen, before leaving on his way, continuing his journey, he would share a story and music he played on his bamboo flute. Koji said, let me share with you a story. A story that reminds us of the profound unity that lies within our differences. It is a tale of harmony and the power of coming together, transcending barriers that separate us. Gather round and let the music of this narrative Guide us towards a world where unity flourishes. In a town divided by differences, I met two young boys named Taro and Shinji. They asked me, Flutus Koji, how can we bring harmony to a world filled with discord? Koji sat between the boys and began to share a tale. In a distant land, there were two neighboring villages, each with their own traditions and beliefs. Conflict loomed between them, and it seemed harmony was lost forever. But one day, a wise musician played a flute that harmonized the melodies of both villages. The enchanting music bridged the gap between them and the two villages came together in celebration of their shared humanity. With a knowing smile, Koji said to Taro and Shinji, My young friends, harmony begins with understanding and embracing our differences. Just as the flute brought together the villages, it is through empathy and respect that we can build bridges of unity. Let the music of compassion guide 
guide your actions and watch as harmony blossoms around you. And so, Koji continued his odyssey, his melodies drifting across mountains, valleys, and cities. He became a legend, his name respected wherever he went. Even with so many people having love and respect for him, he still remained a humble flutist, guided by the simple desire to bring harmony and joy to a world that sorely needed it. The impact of Koji's journey was immeasurable. Through his music and acts of kindness, he had brought light into countless lives. The stories of his encounters spread like wildfire, encouraging others to follow in his footsteps and make a difference in their own unique ways. In the end, Koji's journey taught him that the power to create change resided within each individual. One person, armed with compassion, empathy and a willingness to act, could transform the world around them. And as long as there were people like Koji, the world would always have hope. As Koji did when there were those to listen, before leaving on his way, continuing his journey, he would share a story and music he played on his bamboo flute. Koji said, Through the passage of time, legends are born with their stories carrying wisdom and inspiration across many generations. Join me now as I recount a story that speaks of legacy and the power we hold to shape the future. Let us listen and learn from the legends that have come before us. Not so very long ago, while gathered around a campfire on a cool evening night, I met a group of aspiring musicians. They looked at me and asked, Flutus, Koji, how can we leave a lasting legacy? I took a moment to reflect and began to share a tale. There was once a great composer who crafted masterpieces that stirred the souls of all who listened. When he reached the end of his journey, he passed on his knowledge and compositions to his students. They, in turn, shared their music with others, and so the composer's legacy lived on, echoing through generations. With a twinkle in my eye, I said to the musicians, my talented friends, your legacy is not solely determined by your individual accomplishments. It is the impact you have on others and the knowledge you pass on. Nurture your talents, inspire others, and let the melodies you create become an example to the beauty of the human spirit. Throughout his adventurous journey as a flutist and flute maker, there was another aspect of Koji's persona that endeared him to people far and wide. Koji was known not only for his enchanting melodies and masterful flute crafting, but also for his captivating storytelling. In every town he visited, whether bustling or serene, people gathered eagerly to hear his tales, recognizing the power of stories not only to inspire, but also to educate. As Koji ventured through the world, he discovered that giving respect and kindness to others often yielded valuable experiences and lessons. He listened attentively to the stories of strangers, finding wisdom and shared humanity in their words. Koji understood that everyone has a story, and by actively engaging with others, he could not only enrich his own life, 
but also gather a treasury of narratives to share with others. In his encounters, Koji witnessed the transformative impact of storytelling. He saw how a heartfelt story could mend broken spirits, bridge divides, and illuminate the path towards empathy and understanding. The tales he heard and the lessons he learned became the fuel for his own stories, as Koji believed that the essence of his experiences could best be shared through the art of storytelling. He spoke with a gentle cadence, capturing the attention of young and old alike. Surrounded by an attentive audience, Koji began to tell a story. My friends, each of us carries a unique story within. Life with all its twists and turns gives us with moments of joy, sorrow and growth. And through these experiences we gain wisdom that is meant to be shared. Even if one never utters a word, their life, how they live and treat others tells a story. Someone's unspoken story based on how they live can be a good story and also unfortunately a person's life based on how they live and treat others can be a bad story i encourage you let your life tell a good story treating others with respect and kindness and helping others as best you can Koji continued. Living life to the fullest means giving of ourselves to help others. It means embracing our own stories with all their complexities and imperfections. It means cherishing the lessons we've learned and passing them forward to hopefully benefit those who listen. Koji smiled warmly, his eyes gleaming with a profound sense of purpose, and then continued speaking. Dear friend, Remember that your stories hold immense value. Embrace the power of storytelling as a gift to yourselves and others. Share your triumphs, share your failures, and share the lessons that have shaped you. For in doing so, you not only enrich your own journey, but also become a catalyst transformation in the lives of those who listen. And so, Koji's story unfolded, a tale of resilience, compassion, and the indomitable human spirit. The audience leaned in, captivated by every word, as the melodies of his flute intertwined with the narrative, heightening the emotions and underscoring the message of the story. As the final note of his flute resounded, Koji looked out at the faces before him. He saw inspiration shining in their eyes, ready to embark on their own journeys and share their own stories. He knew that the power of storytelling can connect people, bridge divides, and remind people of their shared experiences. With a humble bow, Koji said before leaving, Remember, my dear friends, that your stories matter. Embrace them, cherish them, and let them help to guide you in your pursuit of a meaningful life. For within your stories lies the potential to inspire, heal, and unite a world hungry for connection. As Koji continued his journey, his reputation as a skilled flutist grew far and wide. However, 
His passion for music was not limited to playing the flute alone. Koji possessed a deep understanding of the art of flute making, particularly the delicate craftsmanship of creating exquisite bamboo flutes. He realized that by teaching others this ancient craft, he could leave a lasting legacy that would carry on beyond his own melodies. In each village and town he visited, Koji sought out individuals who showed a genuine interest in music and a desire to learn. He would gather them under the shade of ancient trees or in the cozy corners of bustling marketplaces, where he would share his knowledge and expertise. With patience and dedication, Koji guided his eager apprentices through the intricate process of crafting a bamboo flute. He taught them how to select the finest bamboo stalks, explaining the importance of size, age, and texture. Together, they would carefully carve and shape the bamboo, transforming it into a remarkable instrument. But it wasn't just about the technical aspects of flute making. Koji emphasized the connection between the flutist and the instrument. He believed that the energy and spirit of the craftsman were imbued into the very fibers of the flute, enhancing the music that emanated from it. He encouraged his apprentices to infuse their own love and passion into every step of the process, allowing their individuality to shine through in the final creation. Through Koji's guidance, his apprentices not only developed the skills to make beautiful flutes, but also gained a deeper appreciation for the art of music itself. They learned to listen not only with their ears, but with their hearts, understanding that true mastery of the flute required an understanding of rhythm, melody, and the power of silence. As Koji journeyed from place to place, the number of skilled flute makers multiplied, each apprentice became a torchbearer of Koji's teachings, passing down the craft to the next generation. The sweet melodies of bamboo flutes filled the air, weaving a harmonious symphony that resonated through the villages and beyond. Koji's vision of spreading joy through music expanded beyond his own performances. The world began to witness a renaissance of bamboo flute playing, with musicians embracing the handmade instruments and infusing their own unique styles and interpretations. The legacy of Koji's kindness and beautiful flute music extended far and wide. In the twilight of his journey, Koji realized that he had accomplished something truly remarkable. He had not only touched lives with his melodies, but had also ignited a flame of creativity and craftsmanship that would endure for generations to come. The art of bamboo flute making became a symbol of resilience, creativity, and the power of passing on knowledge. As Koji stood before his final gathering of apprentices, he felt a profound sense of fulfillment. They had become more than just students. They were a family, connected through their shared love for music, the art of flute making and storytelling. Koji knew that his own journey would soon come to an end, but he took solace in the knowledge that his efforts to be kind to others would continue to inspire and uplift others, to also be kind to others long after he was gone. And so, with a heart full of gratitude and a melody of contentment, Koji bid farewell to his apprentices, knowing that his legacy of playing music and making bamboo flutes for others would be carried on by his apprentices that would continue to share flute music and flute making with the world. His journey had come full circle, and the humble flutist had not only made a difference in the lives of many, but had also ensured that his passion for music and the art of flute making would endure throughout time. As Koji had done so many times before, when there were those to listen, before leaving on his way, continuing his journey, he would share a story and music he played on his bamboo flute. Koji began to speak. In the realm of artistry and craftsmanship, there lies a story that weaves together creativity, passion, and the mastery of a timeless craft. 
as we delve into the world of bamboo flute making, allow me to share with you a tale that resonates with the artistry and dedication that breathes life into each flute. Prepare to be captivated by the enchanting narrative that unfolds before us. In the midst of a bamboo forest, surrounded by budding flute makers, Koji smiled and began to tell a tale. Long ago, there was a master flute maker who crafted flutes of profound beauty. Each flute was a combination of knowledge, skills, and wisdom that the flute maker had nurtured during his many years of flute making. With each flute resonating its own unique tuning and voice. As time passed, the master shared his knowledge with eager apprentices, ensuing that the art of flute making lived on and on. Looking at his apprentices, Koji said, My dear students, the art of flute making carries with it the essence of tradition and craftsmanship. As you work with the bamboo, remember that the flute is more than just an instrument. It is a vessel for expressing the depths of your soul. Once, there was a young apprentice named Hiroshi who struggled to find his own creative voice. Frustrated, he sought guidance from the master flute maker. The wise craftsman shared a secret. In each bamboo stalk lies a unique sound waiting to be awakened. Listen closely. Feel the vibration and let the flute guide your hands, your heart, and your mind. Hiroshi, inspired by the master's words, delved deeper into the art of flute making. He immersed himself in the natural world, observing the sway of the bamboo the whispers of the wind, the melody sung by the river. With each flute crafted Hiroshi, took great care to follow his knowledge, skills, wisdom, and intuition to make flutes that would not only create beautiful music, but create a harmonious bond between maker and music. Years later, as Hiroshi became a master flute maker in his own right, he took on apprentices of his own. He shared the wisdom he had acquired, encouraging them to seek their own unique expressions through the art of flute making. Together they honed their skills, unlocking the true potential of each bamboo stalk and weaving their love for the craft into every instrument. Through their dedication and shared passion, the art of bamboo flute making spread far and wide. The flutes created by Hiroshi and his apprentices carried the echoes of ancient melodies and the promise of new compositions. Musicians sought out their instruments, drawn to the exquisite craftsmanship and the enchanting tones that resonated with their souls. In time, Hiroshi's apprentices became masters themselves, passing down the art of flute-making 
to future generations. The tradition flourished, creating a tapestry of skilled artisans and soul-stirring music that spanned across the lands. As Koji concluded his story, he gazed at his apprentices with love and admiration and said, Remember, my dear students, the art you create is more than just a physical object. Oi, it holds the power to inspire, to heal and to connect people's hearts. May your flutes carry the melodies of joy and touch the lives of those who listen. And so, the journey of Koji continued, guided not only by the melodies Koji played and the flutes Koji crafted, but also by the melodies Koji's apprentices played and the flutes they crafted. With each passing day, the art of bamboo flute making and the enchanting music it produced positively influenced people around the world, spreading a message of harmony, creativity, and the enduring power of the human spirit. Koji's journey eventually came to a close, but his legacy lived on. The melodies he had shared continued to resonate with those who had been touched by his music. His story evidenced the enduring power of compassion and the profound impact one person could have on the lives of many. Music has been described as the universal language. Koji not only spoke universally through his music, but his life also spoke a wonderful story without uttering a word, how he respected people, showing kindness to friends and strangers along his travels. In the years that followed, Koji's tale inspired countless individuals to embrace their own unique talents and passions, using them to uplift others and create a better world. The spirit of Koji's journey lived on in the acts of kindness and the melodies of hope that echoed through the generations, reminding humanity of the potential for greatness that lies within each and every one of us. The End That's all for now. Thanks for listening. Please visit our website, opportuno.org. Thank you. Also, a special thank you to the flutist and flute maker, Eric the Flute Maker, for the flute music used in this podcast episode. If you wish to purchase one of Eric's bamboo flutes or listen to more of his songs, Eric's website is ericthefluteMaker.com. Eric also has a ministry that provides care for hundreds of children with special needs and their families in Nicaragua and helps provide food to over 100 feeding stations. To learn more about this ministry and how you can help, please visit flutemakerministries.org. Links to Eric's music and websites will be in the description area of this podcast episode. To close out this podcast episode will be the following 10 flute musicals by Eric the Flute Maker. These 10 songs, and many others, are available on SoundCloud. The link to Eric's SoundCloud channel, and the names of these 10 songs, are available in the description area of this podcast episode. Okay, now for 10 flute musicals, by the flute maker, Eric the Flute Maker.